common for people to talk about wanting to train like a Spartan warrior, but I think that uh, they these people that are uh, claiming this uh, kind of lack a lot of understanding of real history as far as the Spartan society and Spartan warrior culture is concerned. So <clears throat> I wanted to go ahead and talk about a bunch of the different, or a few of the different qualities, and there's a bunch to learn, but I can't go over it all in one video unless I want to write a book about it. But there's plenty of people that have already written books about it, so if you're interested in actually understanding the Spartans, uh, then do some reading for yourself. So, to start off with, um, if you're wanting to train like a Spartan, then you are going to stay out of the gym. You are only going to work with the gear that you are going to actually fight with, and that was uh, that was very important in Spart Spartan culture is that it is actually said one of the few things that actually came out of there that they actually recorded or noted is that they <clears throat> their athletes and their warriors train completely different and the training for both of them never intermix so uh, that's one thing to note there so uh, that's that's a very foundational uh, a point that I wanted to make before getting into all of this. So, agility and dexterity. So, for you guys, uh, that's working with your weapon system. So, that's working on your presentations, your reloads, your malfunction drills without looking at the weapon system. You should do it blindfolded. It should be when it, if you're hot, cold, tired, doesn't matter. So, <clears throat> It's your ability to manipulate your weapon system and get yourself into different positions and um, move around your terrain seamlessly. Very important uh, aspect, and the Spartans really worked a long time to harness and hone those uh, abilities in their warriors if they survived, but uh, through the Yagogi. <clears throat> so, the next one is endurance or stamina. This is very important because think about the Spartan. Uh, Spartan lifestyle and even uh, Spartan warrior lifestyle and even today uh, it's very important that you are able to present and hold a weapon in position in a covering aspect for them it was holding a shield in place despite having an onslaught a constant onslaught of men because the phalanx it had, it was, it had a great strength of having interlocked shields and stuff like that and being very easy to hold off people however <clears throat> one person goes down you can basically you get one chink in that chain, and uh, the whole phalanx is at, at risk of collapsing. So it was very important that everybody had endurance. So that came in a, a lot of the form of just drilling the phalanx and just pounding the heck out of the lines in, in smaller groups so they could actually test it. And then, of course, getting bigger and bigger groups and testing it. <clears throat> so they would always work on their endurance. They wanted them to be able to hold that shield up. Uh, for a long time and also recover quickly and continue to push and push and push. So that's a very important quality. So you need to, if you want to get good at endurance, isometric exercises and just uh, working on uh, your manipulations, your presentations constantly and getting it to where you can do it um, for a long period of time, that's very important. So, <clears throat> that can also have to do with uh, moving over terrain, uh, like running, well, not really running, or, but uh, jogging for a long amount of time in gear, working on stuff like that. So, next one is dietary restriction. This is very interesting. In uh, Spartan culture, they did not believe in actually using alcohol like wine in order to get inebriated. They actually felt that that was a negative aspect of um, or that was going to lead to a negative aspect of a warrior. So it would take away the warrior's ability to uh, be coherent and uh, battle ready. So it was a great dishonor to actually publicly intoxicate yourself or even intoxicate yourself at all. It was a very taboo thing to do. They left that to slaves for humiliation purposes to show how unready they were to defend themselves. So also, Spartan warriors were constantly and notoriously underfed in order to keep them lean and also uh, to keep them under control uh, of the state, so it kept them kept them aggressive, it kept them uh, focused and motivated because they wanted to work for that next meal and earn that next meal. So if you guys are going to McDonald's or you guys are uh, gluttonously eating, you're not following the warrior, you know, workout routine. So uh, that's actually a very important part. That's why they were they had the reputation of being uh, muscular and stuff because it's not that they were actually like big buff yuhus. Uh, they actually uh, were not all 
big and buff. What they were is they were just ripped. They had very little fat on them, and that's not always a really a good thing. But you know, it is what it is. That's that's just the facts. So. And that can be very beneficial if you get into something like fasting or whatever, where you actually put yourself on somewhat of a dietary restriction during certain periods of time. Uh, you'll actually notice uh, your focus does increase. Last one, teamwork. The Spartans were all about teamwork. And despite the fact that Hollywood kind of paints them as being able to, one-on-one, uh, -on -one, they're able to take on ten of whatever... Uh, whatever other warrior, uh, that's actually been proven to be a myth because their strength came in their teams. Their strength came from their phalanx. It's very hard to penetrate a strongly, uh, a strongly held phalanx. So it'll take 30 people or a 30 ranks deep in order to penetrate one phalanx, but by the time they actually get there, um, <clears throat> they're able to, you know, stab to death, you know, a hundred people or whatever and then they kill one Spartan and get a chink in the armor while the person behind that dead Spartan is able to fill in the line and force them back and it takes another hundred in order to penetrate another uh, a, another shield and get through the armor and try to work it out and then they fail to actually uh, flood the uh, flood the phalanx so Everything was based around their teamwork. It's not that they were good individually. It's just that they were able to work well as a team. So if you're going to train like a Spartan, you need to be training with a group, and you need to work on team tactics. And that's a very big thing. Is It was all about uh, camaraderie and uh, working as a group. And uh, society as a whole was surrounded... Uh, well, the Spartan warrior was surrounded by its culture, and the culture itself was about the Spartan warrior. They didn't believe in walls. They believed that their shields, their young men with their shields, was their walls, and their spears, wherever those Spartan warriors were, their spears were the border of Sparta. So wherever they were, um, those warriors uh, dictated the, uh, the border of Sparta itself. So... Anyways, that's a little bit about uh, Spartan culture and kind of adapting it to, you know, being uh, uh, to being better at, you know, fighting or whatever, I guess, whatever. Uh, so if you're really trying to train like a Spartan as far as your gunfighting skills go, then you're going to be working a lot on your manipulations and your ability to maintain isometrics and some of your fitness as far as moving in gear for long periods of time. Not necessarily power. You notice that I didn't put power down here. That's because they typically state as a group. Again, teamwork. You're moving together. And the best way to move together is to maintain control. So you don't have one person dashing like a, in a Hollywood Civil War or whatever, or in 300 or whatever, where you're going off on your own. You would never lose that integrity because that is your protection to keep everybody alive. And to give you the maximum amount of power is to stay in a tight phalanx. So... <clears throat> You know, that's how to train like a Spartan warrior. Is it the best way? Hmm, maybe not, but as long as you're, um, you're, you're only as strong as your weakest link. So as long as you guys are all on the same page, then you all are training like Spartans. So it's going to require more than one person in order to conduct Spartan warrior training. So anyways, I uh, hope that wasn't too annoying for you to talk about, you know, Spartan warrior training and stuff like that. But it's, it's the facts. That's just the way the Spartans were. So... Uh, if you wanted to kind of integrate it, that's pretty much the best way to do it without adding in homosexuality and pedophilia uh, into the mix. But uh, with all that said, I appreciate you guys watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and you guys have a good one.